Here's a problem where we want to find the pH and the pOH of 0.3 molar HNO3 nitric acid. Before you try to do the ice chart, the most important step is identify what kind of chemical you have. There's going to be 10 different types of chemicals, which leads to 10 different types of ice charts to calculate. So identifying the chemical is the first step to getting the right kind of ice chart. And identifying this case means we identify that we have a strong acid because HNO3 is one of the six strong acids. The fact that it's an acid means it's going to donate a proton to the water. The fact that it's strong means the reaction goes 100% from left to right. So if we draw that donation, if we rip off an H plus away from nitric acid, we're left with nitrate. And when we add the H plus to water, we make hydronium. The initial concentration of the acid is 0.3. We don't need the water column. Nitrate and hydronium both start at zero. Now, the fact that it's a complete reaction, 100%, means we don't have any unknown X's in our ice chart. We know how much of this nitric acid is going to react because a complete reaction means all 0.3 moles per liter goes away. And if we know the nitric acid loses 0.3, the nitrate has to gain 0.3, and so does the hydronium. So whenever you have a strong acid or a strong base, strong chemicals means you never have any X's in the ice chart. So there's nothing to solve for in this ice chart. If we want the pH, we know what the concentration of hydronium is. pH is the negative log of hydronium, which is 0.3. And the negative log of 0 0.3 is 0 0.52. 0 0.52 makes, a, makes sense because this is definitely less than 7. 7 is neutral at 25 degrees, and every problem will be assumed to be at 25 degrees unless the temperature is specified as something else. And when there's no temperature given, we know the temperature is 25 degrees. So pH 0 0.52 is definitely acidic, which makes sense for a strong acid. And we can then use the formula pH plus pOH equals 14 to calculate the pOH. which is 13.48. Here's a similar problem. 25 degrees, because no temperature is given. Find the pH and pOH of 0.4 molar barium hydroxide. Barium hydroxide, that's a group 2 cation barium, paired up with hydroxide, which means we have a strong base. And the strong bases are unique in the sense that strong bases are all salts. And if you have a salt that dissolves in water, you know that ionic compounds dissociate when they're in water. So this is the only type of chemical where we set up the ice chart just a little bit differently. Instead of writing plus water, all we have to do for this is write a single arrow because we know it's strong and then we just write down the dissociation barium hydroxide dissociates it forms the barium cation and two hydroxide anions if you wrote a strong base plus water you're going to end up with exactly these same two products so you can try it write down the reaction barium hydroxide reacts with water and you'll see that you get exactly the same two products if you draw your arrows correctly. So the initial concentration of the barium hydroxide is 0 0.4. The cation and the anion are both 0. 
We never have any X's in the ice chart if it's a strong acid or a strong base. So 100% reaction means all the barium hydroxide goes away. The barium is going to increase by 0.4 and the hydroxide is going to increase by 0.8 because of that coefficient of 2. Every time one barium hydroxide reacts we make two hydroxides. So the goal was find the pH and the pOH. We can find the pOH first. The negative log of hydroxide means the negative log of 0 0.8, which is 0 0.10. And the pH is 14 minus the pOH, which will be 13.90. Definitely basic, 13.9 higher than 7, which it had to be when you put a strong base into water.